Hello, I'm Brigantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Monday. Time for a new video about the goddess Frigga, this time as the goddess of the weather and the clouds. Now, as previously discussed and established, Frigga was a sky goddess, and one of her jobs was to actually weave the clouds. And this, in turn, would shape the weather, and that strongly impacted the natural order, which, of course, included the growth and harvest of crops. Frigga was also considered to be a weaver of fates, or at the very least, a knower of fates. And that energy can also be likened to the weather. Now, at Blackbird's Brew, in the Magical Tidbits channel, one of the posts we have on the daily basis is called The Daily Forecast. And among other things in this, it has brief notes about the current astrological energies. That's why it's called The Forecast, because those energies can impact upon us much the same way that physical weather does. So it's helpful to kind of get an idea of what's in the air on any given day. Now the power of Frigga in this same capacity is truly difficult to overstate because she can touch everything and everyone on both a physical and spiritual level. Now in a small way, we all have the capacity to mimic Frigga's weaving because we make choices every day and that plays a role in creating the conditions that we ourselves experience. We are weaving our own clouds, so to speak, our own weather all of the time. Now, whether we are proactive in this or reactive, it doesn't really matter. Uh, whatever our conditions are, the imbalances and then the storms that come up partially our way, this is all a little bit of our own creation. I'm not saying that others don't help, but we do play a role. And that's uh, something we have to reckon with. And Frigga even much more so. Uh, in myth, she had this kind of power on a staggering massive scale and it's difficult to you know once you start thinking about the implications of this role she played you think oh my goodness I mean what what could she not affect and the answer is I mean not much now one of her traits is that Frigga did not speak of what she knew about other people's fates at least not as a general rule and it would seem that most of the time once these fates were set it was not within her power to change it after it had been created and set into motion uh, that's a heavy burden to carry, uh, to know what's coming, to know why it's coming, probably even how and the manner in which it's coming, and also know that uh, there's really nothing much you can do. Events will have to unfold. Even in the case of her son, Balder, who she loved, absolutely loved, everything transpired with him as was originally intended. She went to great lengths to try to change it, but still, to no avail. Now, what this teaches is that once something has been set in motion, be it our, our own ultimate fate or the physical weather conditions outside, the energy associated with that is going to have to take its natural course before dissipating. And that's a, a pretty heavy thing to meditate with. And that's what I'd like to leave this video with, even though this is uh, very short and very brief uh, because of the ideas involved and thinking about how it can be applied and what it affects about ourselves. I think that's enough to uh, chew on for one day. So. Thank you very much for joining me. If you would like to continue the conversation or you would like to kind of build and expound upon this subject in general, uh, you are very welcome to join us on our Discord server. It's called Blackbird's Brew. There's an invitation link in the description box below. You just have to click it. And uh, of course, in the meantime, please subscribe to this channel, like this video, leave me a comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.